Disney Plus przedstawia nowy serial oryginalny. Circles to get away. I'm in the same place. At the end of the day, another stiff drink in a dark room. I don't wanna think. Can I be numb to you? You set me free when you try to get rid of me. One day you'll see when you're left with a memory. It stays like this, and I'm glad that you left. I can't dwell. You said you do, you keep on placing those bets, but don't blame me.
Hello and welcome to the EU2 race number 5 in season 13 here in Contest of Speed. My name is Red Panda Pigeon Slayer, also known as Kaganis, and tonight alongside with me is Destructor. Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> Uh, before we jump into the quali, uh, let's check out the driver standings. Uh, actually, interesting situation for this year because top four uh, are the guys who doesn't won the race or, uh, until uh, now, so that's going to be interesting. Hilly is leading the pack with 50 points. Uh, behind him, PW Jones with 41, Dragon with 34, The Fizz with 34. Apologies, 33, of course. Uh, Hako with 31 points after winning uh, last week's race. He gets promoted by 7 positions. <coughs> Elite on, will be 6 with 29. One point behind him is Kanzo. Half and Dobak with 25. Nat Tom with 23 points. Tiski closing the top 10 with 18 points. Same amount of points with Borja on P11. P10, uh, apologies, P12 with 10 points for Kornishkak, Crypto White with 4 points on P13, Brooksy with 3 points. Behind him, Mati Robo with 2 points, and Lanky One and the Salmon with 1 point are closing the points position. Heading back, heading further to the constructor standings. After great performance in Singapore, Williams has taken the lead, gaining uh, 72 points uh, in total. Behind them, Alpha Tauri with 64 points, Ferrari with 61, McLaren with 52, 11 points behind them on P5, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin with 35 points on P6, Mercedes with 32 on P7, Haas with 26 points, Red Bull with 22 points, and Alpine is only one team who doesn't score points. Uh, no, Tom, Kaganis is not my real name. Apologies for breaking your heart. So we have already a couple of drivers on the track. Leading the pack will be probably Joe's the Bonesti, Aston Martin. Gets overtaken by, I do believe it's Elite. Yes, it is Elite. So Monza, Temple of Speed, uh, only 11 turns, uh, including... Uh, Seven as she came. So, and surprisingly, it's uh, not that high fuel for this truck. But let's go on board with Elite, who is starting the first lap of this evening. A bit early breaking to turn one, I, I would say. <coughs> now heading through the Curva Grandi. Lot of speed and heading to the hard braking zone to the second chicane. 26.8 after first sector. Nice and confident through the chicane. Heading to the first Lesmo. Second Lesmo and second DRS straight. Close to invalidate on the curve. A little bit of traffic in front of him. Like Ferrari and Alfa Romeo is getting out of his way, going to the Ascari chicane. Nice and clean. <coughs> and heading to the last turn. Uh, I don't remember the actual name uh, because uh, it was changed. Uh, it was previous a name. Bunch of, yeah. Previous uh, name of this turn was Parabolic. I, was, I don't remember the current one. And Elite with 20.99. Joseph Benasti is heading behind him at 19.75 for him. Puki with 19.4. Uh, I do believe uh, it will be Happen Dobak. Oh, but his lap is invalidated. 
so this will not one count. Uh, hacker on invalidated lab is it crypto white? Yes, it is crypto white heading to the line. <coughs> crossing the line with provisional pole, making it free. Is it lab? No, it's Alpha Tower. Well, it's Will, but he's on the out lap, so. But we'll be the next one. Just set it time. PW Jones with 19.538. Kepler behind him, starting the lap. Vabu just behind uh, Williams Driver with 19.565. Now Mercedes Boys is going to the line. It will. Uh, Elite is finishing the lap. So he was on the double out lap. The settings 19.64 was placing him at current P5. Gonzo with lap invalidated. Meanwhile, Nat Tom with 19.114. The provisional pole will with lap invalidated. Lutzi freshly started his lap. Let's see how Andre, our reserve from EU3, will <coughs> handle that Alfa Romeo tonight. One, one more turn to go for him. We do see yellow flags in front of him. That's slow running cars, but they do are heading to the pit lane. Andre is crossing the line and it's 20 triple three. But I don't know if he can go faster. Meanwhile, Hako with 19293 on position 2. Kili is on the out lap. So let's check out Brooksy because he's the next one to finish his lap. And it's 19.56, currently P6. For the Williams driver, so I do believe next one to finish his lap will be Will. Because he recently started one. Also, Borja and Itmex still in the pit lane. <coughs> That's actually a bit surprising. They are going to probably save a set of softs. Matty Rebel has joined the session and I see our audience demanded you to speak a bit more, distractor. I'm just letting you do your thing right now. You're on a roll. Uh, yes, but you are Oh! That Ooh. was... That's that was bit late. shocking for Will. <coughs> Yeah. Hilly with Vabble. fast lap, 19. Hilly crossing the line. Zero one. Hilly. Nineteen point one. One nine nine. So we can say nineteen point two. That is really close because it's nine uh, nine hundredths of the second between top three. That's really tight grid. Uh, I do believe Dynamic Duo will be the next one to cross the line with proper time. Yeah. Nice and tidy through there again. Great exit. Just gotta see how he takes his power ball go. Last meters of the lap. He's crossing the line and it's 19.989. It's currently P11 for the Alpine driver. And speaking about uh, turns over here, uh, I have to be honest, I'm really scared when I'm going through uh, second Lesmo and through uh, Askarish game. Like, I died plenty of times every day. You turn in like one millisecond too late and you're just done for. It's absolutely frightening. 
we are driving with half and uh, let's change to the broadcast cam for that haslap He, look, he was looking really confident for the second last move. Okay, he does not quick for that. He didn't validate it uh, on the exit of, of Ascari Chicane. Could have been getting a bit of a slipstream there, but ops not to. He's at P10 with 19.73. No, I, I seen that Crypto White was on the lap, but he gets a huge traffic in front of him just not in so. Ascari Chicane. And he lost a lot of time over there. He's two seconds down this time. I think he's either going to go again or he's going to pet. Looks mm. like he's opted to. Konzo. Konzo is the one to set up the lap. That will be his first oh, lap. I do believe that Will oh, well, at least retire from at the session. Crashed. He crashed in uh, Ascari chicane. It's just what can happen if you take it too early or too late. That sausage cup can kill anyone. Yes, indeed. Will on the start of his lap, so let's go back to Kenzo, who is heading through Parabolica. It looks like good exit. And it's P12 for Ferrari, 19.91. Where's Tom right now? He's just finishing the second sector here. Tom is finishing the second he's sector. Three seconds, he's three <coughs> seconds down on this time. I think he's, <coughs> he's messed up at one point and he's going again. It does look like he's pushing. He no, he's somewhere, but I do high. see we have both Alpha Tauris on the hot laps. Will with lap invalidated. Sadly for him. And it makes with Purple Sector 2 games shows. I would think that's real though. I just have a feeling. I mean, it is. Um, game issue that uh, it shows sometimes weird things especially when you are on the your first lap instead of green it shows purple sectors but it makes is crossing the line 19.3 p5 for reserves driver from eu3 top six separated by about two and a half times green second very tightly packed to there yeah, and Pookie is really close to them. It's three tenths between top seven. Uh, Brooksy is on the out lap. Well, it's pushing here it's again. Early. See if he invalidates uh, About Borja. Because, yes, he is on the uh, fast lap, but he's losing over seven tenths to his best. And he. His red light is flashing, so he will be heading to the pit lane. Uh, Brooksy, Dozo Bonasti, and Andre on the out laps. Vabu is oh, Vabu's retiring. Vabu's done, the Vabu's done the same thing. He's crashing the sky. Second victim of Ascari tonight, and we are only in quality session. Uh, Will meanwhile setting 19.861, what's placing him on currently P13. But I do believe we will s see time below 119. I think Hilly, Hilly knows he can go faster, so I think if he gets out like soon, he'll be able to go even quicker. I think he could get into the 18 yet if he even tries. Yeah, especially that track evolution is really huge in this game. We have spoken powerful Monza. about this really plenty of times, and uh, I'm s I'm really surprised that Vabu just decided to retire from the session because 
all drivers behind him, more or less, to Rook C are really close to him, and they might improve that much. It's just a case for him, seeing how well this lap can take him. Yeah, Worst case scenario, like... he, he'll end up in like P8, and like if everyone improves those... really well. On the Aston Martin will be the first one to settle up right now. Minor improvement in sector one, 28 milliseconds. So let's see what he will be able to do for sector two. Re a bit wide exit from second Lesmo, but it shouldn't impend his lap. Uh, he's improving by over three tenths through sector two. So that might be placing him around P6, maybe P7. Depends on what he will do in Sector 3. Carrying decent amount of speed for Parabolica and it's 19.245. It's P4 for the Aston Martin driver. I think that's him done. That's his last lap. Uh, Brooksy, it looks like he didn't improve his lap, but maybe he was on the double warm up. <coughs> Andre in that Alfa Romeo is starting his another attempt. He's on extremely low ERS though. I don't think he recharged yeah, there. He, his, his lap was invalidated before. Brooks uh, red light is flashing, so he won't improve his lap right now. Uh, we see yellow flags in sector two. That's uh, Joseph Benasti, I assume, and Hilly, who is on the out lap. So let's actually check what Andre is doing after sector two. Yellow flags in front of him. A little bit of traffic. Here's wide open, going to the Ascari chicane, but it looks like he's driving pretty slow. See. There, yeah, it's over two oh, second loss uh, on his previous best. So let's stick with Hilly for a moment because I do believe he will be the first one to complete Marty his Robo. first attempt. Marty Robo still has to set a lap. I think, I think that's the the Brooks plan here for him. Brooks is retiring from uh, from the session. He just entered the pit lane uh, and realized that he won't be able to make another lap. Leon the second Lesmo, good exit it looks like. Andre is retiring from session. He dears wide open, heading oh, to the Ascari. Oh! Oh, and he spun! Oh no! Really Just good running ball. away to not impend other drivers. So is it Borja next one? No, it's not Borja. So it will be Crypto to settle up right now. Or is it Hafendobak in front of him? Well, Half and Dovak is going behind again. him. Uh, in the pets, Lanky he's done. one. Lanky one. Oh, and Crypto White crashed on the scary. He is retiring from the session. It's the third victim that there. Yes, it's first victim. Oh, God, third victim. Second, okay. And Lanky one. Lanky is crossing the line. It's quarter of a second he prevent. P16. I think Tom Tom is improving by 1.72. So that might be a pole position for the Alfa Romeo driver. Tom is crossing the line and it's 19.089. 25 milliseconds oh, improvement. Uh, so it's another victim, oh. it looks like. Uh, oh, Heat Max is also spun. Heat Max is spinning around. PW Jones for P7. Uh, Borja for P10. Oh, has, Pookie's has, also spun. Is this that one? Plenty of people spinning around. Having the back. Not improving. Conzo for P7. 
Uh, Alpha Tower, is it Will? Is it Will? Yes, it is Will. Minor improvement after Sector 2. He stays on P16. And that is quality over. Yes, it looks like we were waiting for Pookie, and Pookie is heading to the pit, pit lane. So, Nuts Tom ahead of Vabu. That's our front row for this race. Let's see for the confirmation of the rest of the grid. Dynamic Duo starting P3. Apologies. Uh, a little bit of technical issue from my side. Uh, Dynamic Duo from P3. Healy for P4. Those the Benasti P5. Hako P6. Kelso P7. PW Jones P8. It makes first reserve. I do, uh, no, Vabu is first reserve. Uh, first reserve. It makes first reserve from. EU3 on P9, Crypto White P10, Borja P11, Puki P12, Brooksy on P13, Elite on P14, Hafendobak P15, Will P16, Lanky1 P17, Andre on P18, and Machi Robo without a time starting from P19. I think that's a, a strategical uh, masterclass from Manny there. I think he's, he's hoping for a, a turn one disaster. For everyone else, yeah, I mean, just try and like pick up positions. It's Monza, so anything can happen, really. Yeah, I had the shortest race in my career uh, over here. Uh, it took me 13 seconds to uh, retire, and I di didn't even reach the turn one. <laughs> I think that's a record. No, uh, someone uh, in front of me had a really poor, poor start, and uh, I was on the pit wall side. Then someone from oh. the outside just des decided to bump to other car and uh, I get smashed. That sounds really fun. So, chat, what is our prediction for tonight's podium? I say it will be hilly. Oh, five minutes. Hako and PW Jones. But we are starting, it looks like, not the best start for, from Nat Tom. Vabu is taking the lead. Healy is close to them. Vabu to the inside to turn one. Nat Tom inside on turn two. But Vabu is taking the lead of this race. And Dynamic Duo fighting with Hako. Does have a nasty lost the position, I do believe. It makes. He's totally gonna make the dive here. Will is overtaking Crypto White for P13. Conzo swapping the positions with, and Will is spinning around. Will's gone. gone. That's not a good start for him. Unfortunate start for him. He is on the soft, so he will be able to catch up, but it's just a case of how long them softs are gonna go. Yeah, the, quest the, the question is uh, how. Bad will be his subs after just spinning around. Because that will affect for sure uh, his rear endurance. Everyone seems to have gotten Ma away pretty well. They're all Mati gonna Mati Robo other. is already on P15. Andre is overtaking Brooksy for P16. So plenty of action and back on the grid. Vabu with. Uh, fastest lap of the race so far, but it was first lap. Lanky one is overtaking uh, Brooksy, and Havendabak is retiring in pit lane. That's extremely hard. Retire on the first lap. Mm. I don't think never, I've seen that. Whole never a good option. Pookie is overtaking Crypto White for P12. But let's head here, Vabu and oh, Nakam damage? really close to each other. Uh, watching the chat, uh, Dynamic said he didn't want to race in EU2 anymore and it's hard, but here he is before <laughs> and he is fighting really close with Hilly. 
They were side by side a while and, ago. He needs to try and gap Hackle here. He needs well, to. Lanky one overtaking uh, Andre PWG is up. overtaking Borja. Uh, Elite is overtaking Borja as well. That was uh, position changes for P15, P9, and P10. Uh, I do believe we have a moment, so let's check out the tires. PW Jones with five second penalty for corner cutting and gaining a position. That's unfortunate. So about the tires. Yitmax on P7, PW Jones on P9, Andre on P16 and Brooksy on P18 on hard compounds, Will on P17, Puki on P13 and Dynamic Duo on P4 on soft compound, rest of the grid, all of them on mediums. Puki is overtaking Crypto White again, Konzo is overtaking Yitmax for P7. And they are side by side. Gonzo is stepping back. Looks like uh, Vabu's just pulling away slightly to Tom. Gap's now about seven tenths. He is burning a lot though. He's all about, I'd say about 60% of the RS already. Yeah, but, uh, first, and we are about to start lap four shortly. So DRS will is active from this lap and it looks like first driver without DRS will be PW Jones on P9. Crypto White swapping positions with his teammate and uh, receiving three seconds time penalty for track limits. Puki is overtaking Borja for P12. Dynamic Joe's got a brilliant accent there. I think he's gonna have him here. Vabu setting a new fastest lap of the race, but it looks like not time is closing up. Konzo is overtaking Gitmax for P7. He'll be side by side with Dynamic Duo, but Nat Tom is taking Ooh. the lead of this race. It, and it looks like Hilly is dropping back a bit. He's out of DRS. Hakko is overtaking Dynamic Duo for P4. Machi Robo oh, nice. is overtaking Crypto White and Lanky One as well. It looks like Crypto have some troubles. Eatmax is overtaking Konzo for P7, they are swapping positions and Eatmax with 3 second time penalty for corner cutting. Well he's not out of there, so these two need to work together here. They need to try and just get that gap to as big as they can, because ha they know Hackle's <laughs> going to fight Hilly here. Yeah, they will be fighting for position for sure, but I do expect this, this battle will be really respectful because uh, they are know each other they know how to drive uh, side by side PW Jones meanwhile overtaking Yitmax for P9 both with penalties PW Jones with slightly bigger one and he will be in trouble because uh, he overtook Alpha Tauri before the detection point and it looks like PW Jones yeah, is Hacko's out of battery Hakko is overtaking Hilly Nuts Tom is fighting side by side with Babu oh, um. and it looks like Nuts Tom with a bit of troubles he's letting Nuts Tom and Hakko pass. Oh he's, lo he's lost Pete. Oh no. That was not optimal for him there. He's let Hilly back in the DRS now. And how Hilly. Those of nasty is closing really to dynamic duo. Let's see. Got a DRS train up until about P8, where uh, Yeetmax just cancels it out here. Uh, these, these guys are all going to be fighting from just every position here. It's every man for himself right now. Yes, indeed, and Yeetmax and PW Jones should start work together if they want to get back to this DRS train in front of them. So as Pookie Pookie is out of DRS on a lead. Uh, Crypto White is overtaking Lanky One for P15. Apologies for P14, of course. But they are far back behind Matty on P13. It's almost 4 oh, seconds. Again. Meanwhile, will Hackle be able to attack Vabu for the lead race? I do believe Hackle is a bit too far. Yellow flag in Sector 3. That's Crypto White, who is probably spinning around in Parabolica. Yeah, he went too wide. Elite is overtaking few drivers for P9. Puki swapping positions with Borja. 
And it looks like top 7 is running away from Kanzo. Who is close to lost that DRS uh, on Nat Tom. Looks like he the is deploying battery a bit. We see yellow flags again and That's it's okay. Borja and Puki. If we'll spam around. They both spawns around, Puki is dropping back to P16. Konza overtaking Joe Zabinasi for P7. Is that never yellow flag? Is that four? Mati Robo, five second penalty for collision with Borja and gaining a place. Elise is overtaking PW Jones for P8. Will is overtaking Andre for P15. Plenty of people are. Looks like they are struggling. I have a feeling Maddie's pen's gonna get removed because it looked like that happened when um when Borgium thing spun. So there's a chance that the, the game's just recognized and still on track. Uh, Hako is taking the lead of the race. He's overtaking Bado. Maddie's pitting. Maddie's pitting, so uh, his penalty. He's getting ready at five second. Yes, and uh, that means he won't be able to appeal this penalty. Dosta Bonasti is boxing as well. He's dropping Wait. down to P15. Puki is overtaking Andre. That's position gain for P13. Borja is overtaking Lanky one for P10. Crypto White is overtaking the Dosa Bonassi, who is still in the pit lane. Maddie had a help lane down, which that's why he pit. And that's probably. Wait, when did Hako get in the lead? Uh, oh, and Hako oh, is oh! losing that's his game, rear tire grip. And he's losing two positions to not it. Tom and Vabu, and Tom is going through, taking the lead of the race again, he's he overtaking well. Hako. So one That's what you love to see though. Yes, he just went a bit too wide out of the Lysma to uh, grab the uh, marbles out of the track, and he started to wiggling his car. There's a five second gap. From P7 to P6. What has happened to the elite? And that's huge. And meanwhile, Vabu is overtaking Tom for the race lead. PW Jones, I think he's just got elite there. Oh, and okay, dynamic duo. That was oh. an interesting move for Alpine driver. It just turned really, really early, like about 10 meters before the first <laughs> uh, chicane. It's a bit off from him. And he's out of that leading six See. now. He's over two Hilly seconds behind him. Back out the DRS. They need to try and get back in before the detection zone. I don't think he's going to do it though. And Hilly won't get that DRS advantage. So Hako will overtake him prob probably. DRS is absolutely powerful, especially at this part here. And yes, that is a Hako good exit is key right here. A position way before breaking zone to final chicane Natam is swapping positions with Vabu Vabu made a mistake and it's Ooh. P2 for Hako Heli back in DRS again this guy's getting so lucky right now and it looks like Vabu made a mistake in Naskari chicane Vabu going for Hako here even before the detection and they both get the arrest. But Hilly's uh, burning. Console's just about to get him though. They're going side by side. Console breaks early. Ooh. A little bit of lockup for Hilly, but he managed to keep that position. But it looks like Console got a bit better exit out of turn two. Console's got one more battery as well. They're side by side right now. Console is Konza running wide. And he is in front of that McLaren. Pedavisions is closing the gap to Dynamic Duo. It's about 1.5 second, plus minus two tenths. These softs are probably gonna start down off soon. I think it's about, what is it, like lap 10, 11, 12, I think. If I'm not wrong. Yitmax is close to a lead. 
Not close enough probably to make a move, but close enough to get that DRS. But meanwhile, let's Vabos go in the back. Vabo is closing really fast. Nutstorm trying to defend, but Vabu carrying way more speed thanks to DRS advantage. Dynamic Duo is heading to the pit lane. Vabu is retaking the lead Yellow flag. of this race once again. And it looks like it's Will. Oh, it's Will. It's Will again. It's Will who's spinning around. I assume he will go Any. to the pit lane as well. Dynamic Duo and mm, Pookie nope. both in both Alpines in the pit lane. Both around the hards. I think they're gonna go hard to the end here. Yeah, Konzo is overtaking Hako for P4 free. Hako is dropping to P4. And it looks like Vabu is gaining a lot on Nat Tom. Tom is almost one second behind so leaving Aston Martin. Tom's going there, burn here. He should be able to stand now. Uh... Yeah, he's taking Vabo gets a really good exit there though. Lead stream as he can. Uh, Nat Tom will have the DRS. But he will Just be too far bed. back, but he will be way too far back to make a move. Gap is over one second. Healy is close to lost the DRS as well. No, he just about got it. Crypto White is overtaking Yellow Will flag. for P12. Yitmax is overtaking Elite for P7. W Jones is on P6, almost four seconds behind Healy. Healy dropped the pace a lot. He lost seven tenths on first sector, leading four right now. Yeah, ha Hako's just going to try and pull away here. He doesn't want Healy fighting him the entire time, and then they're both going to lose time to pulling places. I mean, most important thing for Healy right now that he is in front of uh, P.W. Jones, who is directly behind him on the driver's standings. But this but, uh... might be changed shortly because Hako got the advantage and he is not that far back behind uh, his teammate. Meanwhile, not Tom closed the gap to Vabu. He's a bit too far to make a move. Or is yeah, Hako's, he... Yeah, Hako's too far on Konzo. He's heading to the inside. But no. No place for a move for Alpha Romeo Driver. Lanky One is overtaking Borja, but he's... Oh, Borja is heading to the pit lane. So that's P9 for Lanky and P10 for Andre right, right now. So the lead? Yeah, lead spawn. It's his second adventure uh, on the exit of Ascari Chicane tonight, at least second. Elite is close to Eat Max, so it wasn't Elite who spans out, it was Brooksy, who's heading to the pit oh. lane together with Will. My bad, my mistake. Healy dropping the pace a lot right now to leading for Dynamic Duo with 3 second time penalty for Alpine Driver on P11 at this moment. Oh no. Nat Tom is overtaking Vabo Konzo both in the pits. Vabo and Konzo both in the Go pits. Go for a cheeky Nat undercut. Nat Tom and Haka are carrying on. Healy promoting to P3, PW Jones to P4, Heatmax and Elite are fighting for position. Elite is in front of Alpha Tauri. A little bit of uh, slide Max for Mercedes driver, so Heatmax will be attacking him through the Curva Grande. 
Eatmax is struggling with battery. They are side, oh, they are still side by side. They are still side by side. Breaking and oh, Eatmax is taking position from the Mercedes. How do we rear lock up though? He just started drifting through the corner. And he lost a lot of time to not some. Anyway, let's go to Vabu. Vabu is on hard tires. How about Kenzo? Kenzo on hearts as well. So I do expect that Nat, Tom, Hako and Hilly will do the same in a couple of meters. Kenzo is overtaking Andre for P9. But he right, lost a bit of time to Vabu. Hako. Tom is pitting. And Hako is Hilly pitting. On. Hilly is staying on. P.W. Jones stand on, obviously. Uh, P.W. Jones stand on as well. No, not stand on, he's petting. Uh, P.W. Jones is staying on to avoid uh, potential double stacking. Because they were really close to 5 seconds uh, to each other. Meanwhile, not Tom is on P... Exiting the pit lane on P6 just behind Lanky1 and Vabu. But the undercut definitely worked in there. In front of Konzo. And Nat Tom is overtaking immediately. Uh, Lanky one for P5. Now he needs to work to get onto the DRS on Fabu. Konzo is really close behind Alfa Romeo of Nat Tom. Those are nasty overtaking Crypto White, who is heading to the pit lane. Crypto White is exiting the pit lane on P16 just in front of Will. Konzo is close. Konzo is really close to Nat Tom. Hacker overtaking Lanky One. He's losing 1.5 seconds to Tom and Konzo in front of him. But it looks like he's closing the gap. He is staying on. So is PW Jones. Elite is heading to the pit lane, so Vabu is going back for the podium spot. Vabu with new fastest lap of the race, 21.316. Comes of fighting with Nat Tom, and that's position gain for Ferrari driver. Hakko that's on not P6. smart. That's not smart at all from them too. They're already losing time. They've lost about a second on that one lap. It looks like Vabu is on fire tonight. Looks like Konzo's pulling away as well. Yeah, maybe Nat Tom is not feeling that great on those uh, hearts. I think they just need rubber in a bit and then they'd be fine. Yeah, and Hako is all the time a bit less than 1.4 behind Nat Tom. Atom obviously will run away a bit because of that DRS advantage. He's closing, but he was way too far to attack Konzo to the Tilly? Ascarish game. It's Hilly Putin. He's staying on again. Hilly is staying on again, but it looks like PW Jones is going to the pit lane. It looks like Hilly's trying to stretch out to the soft period. From what I can tell. Yeah, probably. Or he is just trying to play for the safety car. Vabu is back on P2. Like Konza and PW Jones. Uh, not PW Jones, apologies, not Tom. Not Tom is overtaking that Ferrari easily. Does the Benasti with three second penalty for uh, track limits. That's PW Jones and that up. PW Jones. Going out from the pit lane behind a lead on P10. The gap is pretty big, over 3 seconds. Oh, or we had a little bit of glitch for the intervals and it's a bit less than 3 seconds. Lanky1 is overtaking Andre, so is those the Benassi. Andre is losing 2 positions on the braking zone to turn 1. Konzo, it looks like he is struggling a bit with Nat Tom pace. He lost almost a second. 
on the last lap, and Nat Tom is slightly closing Tom's into Vabu. He's get he's getting a bit too tough that lap. Looks like um if he can keep this pace up, he he might be on for the win here. Yeah, and uh, that's whole, uh, that hanging each, uh, with the arrest to each other, helping those two Nat Tom and Konzo to run away from Hako, who is already two and a half second behind them. Konzo was too close lost to this. make a move. And Nat Tom lost a bit of the gap to Vabu on P2. Itmax is overtaking Dynamic Duo for P7. That's huge pace for EU free reserve. Itmax got an exit. Konzo's back in the DRS again. He seems to keep this pace up. I mean, Konzo was in the DRS all the time. But they are starting to lose it again to Vabu. Will is overtaking Crypto White for P16. Oh, a bit of argy bargy there. Crypto White is taking position back. So he had way better exit out of turn 2. Dynamic Duo close behind Eatmax on P6 and P7. Borja is losing over 2 seconds to them, but it looks like he is closing the gap a bit. Meanwhile, not towing Konzo, Konzo, Konzo is close enough to make a move to turn 1. But Has he, he got no go for it? Nope. No, he closed, he closed his uh, rear wing quite early. So he just. He, he might be trying to save ERS. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe Dynamic Duo is overtaking Eatmax for P6. They're swapping positions. Last couple of laps. Dynamic Duo on hard compound, Eatmax on mediums. Looks like Hedley's losing about a second a lap Crypt to Vabu already. Crypto White is fighting wheel to wheel with Will. Dose of Anasta is losing positions to Andre. Oh! And that was a huge contact. If that wasn't a glitch, a visible glitch, um, with who? Will just smashed the gearbox of Crypto White car. Uh, looks like there's no damage though, so he's gonna continue on. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Dynamic, no Dynamic Duo lost a bit of gap to Eatmax. And Hilly is finally heading to the pit lane, so I assume that will be soft tires for McLaren driver. Also burning ERS here. Konzo is burning, yes, it is soft. Konzo is burning ERS and he is overtaking Nat Tom for P2. Hako is already over 3 seconds behind them. And where will Healy out exit the pit lane? Uh, side Ooh. by side with Borja. Borja is barely in front of that McLaren. A little bit of poor exit there. for McLaren drivers, so Healy taking that P7. And he has eight more, nine more laps to close the podium spots. It won't be easy job for him. Especially the gap is about 14 seconds if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's about, it's about 14, 15 seconds. Konzo, Konzo and Nat Tom Carter still close to each other. Gap to leading Vabu is about 2.5 seconds. They are making the gap to Hako bigger and bigger with every lap. It's over three and a half seconds right now. Tom's and Nat Tom is button. overtaking way before the braking zone. And that's... P2 for another time for the Alfa Romeo driver. They're gaining a lot by doing that though. They've gained about half a second there just from training DRS each time. 
Gap's down to 1.86 seconds already. Mm, they, they closed up indeed. It looks like Nuts Tom got the better, a bit better pace comparing to Konzo. Borja is overtaking PW Jones for P9, and he's really close to a lead. Andre with three seconds penalty for track limits. So he's in DRS with Dynamic Duo already. He should have him. I do believe he is too far back. To he's got to save it for the, the long one. Turn one. But now here, Borgia and PW Jones really close to each other. Borgia is uh, lifting a bit earlier comparing to Borgia. Elite is struggling with battery and he has I think Vabu is struggling a lot here. Tom's back in DRS. And Hako is almost five seconds Vabble's behind flashing. him. Vabo is flashing. He is overtaking Tom Dynamic Vabble. Duo before turn one, so that's P6 for McLaren driver. Tom also does Borja not have is overtaking GRS, a lead for P8. So we are back to three-way battle for the race it, win. It looks like Konzo is in the best position here. He's got the most ERS. He's got this. He's got the same lap of tires as Vabo. He just needs to stay on the back of Tom here, and then just pounce when he gets a chance. Yitmax is stay spinning around, he's losing positions. I hope it wasn't an incident with Hilly. Let's Hilly see. is a bit over 9 seconds behind Hako, and he's closing really fast. Tom lifting through there already. Yeah, but he is really close. He will be able to attack uh, on this lap. PW Jones uh, is overtaking Elite, so is it Max. Uh, oh, Elite, spun. Elite spans out on the Ascari uh, chicane. Only damage. So that was his no, second. Yeah, he has no damage. That was his second adventure over there. Not Tom. Didn't overtook Vabu, didn't retake, retook the lead. They are really close to each other. Look how fast Nat Tom is closing. This is what you love to see though. Yeah, I do believe we might expect move right here on this dearest straight after second Lesmo. Tom's Sebastian got a nice hand there, but Andre for P4 he's just team. a bit too far back. He's a bit too far back for it. Oh, and Konzo was breaking really late. He was really close to hit the back of the car uh, of Tom. Crypto White is swapping positions with Joe Nasty, and we see yellow flags. Yellow flag. Uh, Joe Nasty and Crypto White. Oh. That was the Benassi and Crypto White, they are both around. It looks like Crypto White is even worse. Elite Those with three has a, seconds. He's, he's got a broken end plate. He has the, he's got a box here. And not Tom for another time didn't decide to overtake Vabu. He's playing ERS games here. He's getting so much ERS here. He's, he's gonna burn it on the next three laps. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that he is just waiting for final laps. Elite with 5 second penalty for spitting in pit lane. And he decided oh, to retire from the oh, session in pit lane. And Crypto crashed out uh, on the exit of Ascari Chicane. PSC. Looks to be nasty, he's coming into the pits here, he needs to change that front wing. This is going to be perfect for Vabu and, uh, and Tom here, they're going to be able to gain back all their ARS here. And they're going to have about, they're going to have, uh, what, four laps of racing here? Yeah, it's going to be really entertaining to see. Thanks to that VSC, Hako closed up to them really. 
I want to see when Konzu comes in here, though. He's he just seemed like a spectator right now. I think he's just waiting for the, the right time to strike here. That was the Banasti with drive through oh. penalty for spinning under the safety car. I'm pretty sure that I've seen another pop-up, but... I will, I'll have a little check here for you. Nat Tom lost a lot of gap to Vabo under the safety car. He's almost two seconds behind yeah. uh, Aston Martin. It was just those to be now, so you got it. Borja overtaking P. Jones. Konza is close to Natom, still Natom is closing the gap to Vabu. Hako is back to over 5 seconds lost to them. Healy is closing up to Hako, but I do believe that might be too far for McLaren to overtake Hako for P4. Dynamic Duo still on P6. Dose the Benasti with another penalty, this time 5 second penalty for speeding in the pit lane and, and he, he said retired. that's enough and then retiring in the pit lane. Is Tom gonna have enough time? He's, he's got 3 more laps, he's got way less ERS than him and he, it doesn't look like he's gaining that much. We, think that we see yellow flags, that's uh, Aston Martin of Dose the Benasti going out from the pit lane. That will be unfortunate for PW Jones, who is fighting with Borja. PW Jones is making a move on Ooh. that Red Bull for P7. Okay, Tom has closed the bed. He's getting three times in the, in the first sector there. Crypto White is left the session, but he was retired way earlier in the race. Console needs to burn all ZRS now if you want to chance at P2. <laughs> and Tom is. has closed up a bit more to Vabu. Gap now is about 1.4 seconds. And Konzo will be close enough to attack. Definitely. Ooh. And what was that? Who was going white? He, it he, was had, a, he, had, a, he had a snap of oversteer there. It he just went wide. And that's a huge gift for Kanzo. Who had Kanzo needs a prime, prime time here. He, he can have a chance at P1 here if he if he gets it here. That was not laps. a 25% ERS. Two laps to go. Kanzo is closing. Nuttum is holding behind Ferrari on position 2 and Konza yeah, is looks, already looks like this in is, this the rest of the range oh, and it looks like Konza won't get that DRS advantage on not Tom yes, he's rear he's gonna, he's gonna burn here to try and get the gap down for Ascari though because he knows he can get a better exit than him And we are going to start the last lap of this race. Gaps five times and closing. Just before Power Balaka. And not Tom might be out of DRS. No, he's just about got it there, I think. Vabo's flashing though. Console just needs Bubbles to be flashing. You can get him here. Not Tom. Is he gonna get him? Not Tom. No, he's gonna stay Wink was closed, so he didn't get the TRS on detection zone. Poki is overtaking Heatmax for P10. I do believe Heatmax just let PW oh, Jones is for it. shaking. Console score for it. Konzo is in front. But now Vabu will get it. Oh, and Vabu is oh, breaking Vabu. really late. 
That's unfortunate for Aston Martin driver, and now he will be under the threat of Nat Tom. Just side by side full through first Lesmo nearly. And Tanzo is running away from them. Mm. Have a wide exit out of second Lesmo, and Nat Tom is yeah, Tom, with the DRS advantage overtaking Vabu for P2. Yep, there it is. And here we are, we are about to finish the race. Konzo is going to take the checkered flag. Crossing the line for the 27th final time. And he's taking the checkered flag for P1, Natom P2, Vabu P3. Hako over 7 seconds behind them for P4. Healy finishing the race as 5th driver. PW Jones and Dynamic Duo, close battle between them, but PW Jones is P6. Dynamic Duo is dropping position because of penalty to Borja and uh, Dynamic Duo is on P8. Borja is P7, Puki and P9, Yitmex P10, Mati Robo on P11, Lanky one for P12, Will for P13 and Andre for P14. What a race, that's all I can say there. Kanzo chosen as the driver of the day for the game. Kanzo from starting from P7 to finish first, not Tom. Dropping one position, Hako from P6 to P4, to P3, up to apologies, Healy remains on P4. PW Jones from P8 to P5, Borja from P11 to P6, Dynamic Duo from P3 to P7, Puki from P12 to P8, Yitmex remains on P9, and here we have a bit of... Rolling by the game because I'm pretty sure that Vabu was on P3 in this race. It showed it showed he left after the checker flag and the game just flags it as a DNA for some reason. Uh, so Kanzo, Nut Tom and Vabu. That's our boys to invite to the Kans both. Okay, let's play a bit of music and let's invite those boys. I made an extreme rookie mistake. I can't have my phone up on the stream. I'm an idiot. I just noticed that my, my phone was sat down because I don't want to be looking at it. And I've just seen Ricky, like, saying to me, I'll oh, pay attention to the chat. And in fact, did not do that. It's all good, though. We live and we learn. We do have... Oh, not Tom was here, but he decided to leave. Kenzo uh, is here, Vabu, so let's try to re-overtake Tom once again. <laughs> so 
sending invitation to not Tom. Meanwhile, let's head to Vabu. Good evening, Vabu. Congratulations for your podium spot. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, a bit mm, messy uh, end of the race for you, uh, I would say. Uh, you lost two positions uh, on the last lap. Mm, I can imagine that you didn't feel too great uh, because of that. But uh, how was it looking uh, by your side? Uh, yeah, I had a great first stint, uh, but uh, my setup uh, decided not to, to work on hard tires. At the beginning of the second stint, I had a great pace, and after maybe five laps, I start uh, locking up in turn one and turn three. I don't know why. I, I need to check my setup. But uh, yeah, that cost me the win. Uh, I mean, I have a three second gap after the undercut and I was gaining. But uh, that issue I have locking up everywhere just ruined my race. Yeah, we were wondering uh, because we seen uh, that you were gaining and suddenly uh, Destructor and uh, apologies, not Destructor, Kanzo and uh, Tom uh, closed up to you. Uh, Quite a lot. Uh, yeah, it was the locking everywhere. I was locking in turn one, and I was locking in the turn three, I think. So I have to adjust with the brake balance, and every adjustment is a bit horrible than before. Mm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, thank you. Mm, so, distractor. I'm dropping the mic, and Babu is all yours. Um, see, with the, the first stint, were you, were you confident that you had the pace to just pull away? Or was the undercut like just a, a random guess? Uh, actually, I didn't plan to pull away because uh, I, uh, I was playing with a high downforce setup to control my tire wear and to gain, uh, to keep up with those guys because I know they will put a low wings setup. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to stick until we got to the pit uh, phase, and then I will try to undercut. And it worked, mm. but uh, I have I faced that issue that ruined my race. Um, also, just just going back to like for future races, do you think you can keep this pace up and hopefully challenge for the title, or do you think that yeah. this was just a one-off? Yeah, I think I have the pace. Actually, uh, I think I won two times this season. And I have the pace. Right, well, that's uh, no more questions for me, so we can move on to next person. Yeah, but before we go to the Tom, once again, congratulations for your podium spot, and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Uh, now heading to our s middle podium place, and that's Tom Carter. Or Hello. Tom Carter. It is, yeah. It is. <laughs> it is good Tom. E good evening and uh, congratulations uh, for your spot. Thank you. spot uh, but I have to ask about. It was lap 25 or 26. Um, probably a mistake that possibly costed you a race win, uh, going a bit too wide in Parabolica. What happened over there? Uh, yeah, so I just had a snap of oversteer and ran wide, um, and I lifted off a lot because I had a warning that was from overshooting a corner, so I didn't want to have to uh, go through the whole process of um, getting that chalked off, so I didn't have a penalty. Just thought if I didn't get a penalty for that running wide, then I didn't have to go through the whole thing, so that's okay. Um, and to be honest, I think doing that is a blessing in disguise because... Uh, I think it's the move that kept me P2 instead of losing me a win because I had no ERS. I was burning it to catch um, uh, Vabo. But when I released Konzo into him, I was able to attach to the back of Konzo and catch up to Vabo as well. So they had a scrap and I uh, gained from Vabo's mistake. So, you know, wins, wins and losses. Uh, before you started to heading to the pit lane, uh, there was... I do believe six of you fighting uh, for potential uh, race lead. 
Yeah, there's a lot of after... uh, fast drivers in this too. And yeah. a couple of drivers made a mistake, a couple of them decided to stretch their first stance uh, and lost the time because of that, so finally uh, you're free, we're fighting uh, for the top spot of the race. Was it mm -hmm. a relief for you when you noticed that uh, your opponents uh, dropped uh, back that much? Yeah, because a lot of them are higher than me in the standings and I need to outscore them if I want any chance of winning this title. Uh, I've had a poor start to the season, maybe first one, two or three rounds and now I've finally got uh, two podiums under my belt as three points finishes in a row as well, so uh, I was very relieved, yeah. Uh, okay, so now I'm leaving you for distract to Distracto. So, uh, the points points finish, podium finish, so um, it's obviously really good, but um, are you focusing more for uh, the constructor set this season, or are you just solely focusing for the, the drivers? Uh, I've been more than happy to focus on the constructors as well as this, but uh, Tiski has not uh, attended the last two races, so I'm not sure where he is. Uh, but he's definitely capable of being up there with me, so I do hope he comes back because he's very fast and it's always nice to have your teammate there. Like when we were in Austria, he was um, at the start, we uh, worked together to uh, not lose time, especially to the people we were around every time we had a fight. It was losing the least amount of time possible, so uh, yeah, I'd love mm. for him to uh, come back and I'd definitely be willing to focus on the constructors' time as well. Um, for the the next race, we're in a uh, spa. Are you are you confident for a spa, or like have you done nope. any? Nope. Um, spa is one of my least favorite tracks to drive. Like I love the track, like actually, but on the game, I just don't like it. It's just a chore to drive, and I feel like it's too big. Well, that's that's good for for everyone to know. And um, finally, do you think you can end up getting a race win this season, or do you think yeah. you're just gonna stick to the podiums? Yeah, I can win the I can win the race this season. I have no no further questions. So once again, Tom, Cheers. congratulations for your thank final you. podium spot, and thank you for joining us tonight. And heading back to our race winner. Good evening. Hello, guys. How's uh, it going? Congratulations uh, <laughs> on the podium spot. Congratulations uh, for the race win. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Quite a bit messy final laps uh, for your opponents uh, who were fighting uh, with you for uh, that uh, top spot. You took a chance and uh, get the race win. But uh, what was your feelings? Uh, first of all, when uh, Tom uh, made a mistake uh, on breaking through Parabolica. Um. Well, yeah, as soon as that happened, uh, before that, I think it was a virtual safety car. So that came out, and we were, we were okay, but I don't know what happened, but Tom lost a bit of time, and we lost. We obviously lost the gap to Vabu then at that point. Uh, I thought it was the race win was out of our hands, but that uh, slip in the main, the two straights when you're using overtake is just unbelievable, really. Um, so I'm we're quite uh, glad I managed to just about catch up in the end, so pretty happy. Yes, we've seen the final moment of your move uh, on Vabu. I believe uh, it was uh, to second chicane move. Uh, yeah, so um, I knew I wasn't close enough to... I, if I could use as much bat as I could, I, mean, I did have like, uh, I can't remember how much it was, maybe 60-70% going into the last lap. I was doing quite well in the battery the most of the race, but yeah, used the battery and then I left myself 30% for that chicane XX, I thought that would be a good place to overtake him because he's probably used all his battery and it proved to be right because he didn't have, he was flashing coming out of that corner, so it made it an easier pass into the the second chicane. I mean, I have to say that it isn't the uh, let's say safest place to make a move. Uh, it's easy to make the contact with uh, other driver to lose your car uh, on the inside curb. So why this specific moment? 
Um, it was just because, well, it was last lap as well, but um, you couldn't exactly run me off the track completely. I mean, you could have, but you know, uh, you would have got penalised for that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it was just because of the battery. As soon as you see that flink, bl uh, flinking, the uh, blinking light on the back of the car, you know that they're below ten percent. And uh, yeah, he was vulnerable there, so that was the the best place to go for it, really. And proved to be right in the end. Okay, so now I'm leaving you to distract though. He has plenty of questions to you, I guess. Of course I do. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. It's your, your first one this season. And um, I just want to ask, the first, the, the final few laps before the, the VSC, it looked like you were just sitting behind Tom, gaining uh, ERS. Was that the plan, or were you trying to go for a move? Yeah, so after the pit stop, um, I think Vabu got come out in front of a, a car that was like, uh, still hadn't pitted yet. So I lost a lot of time to him there, and I had to use a lot of battery to get past a few cars to keep up with Tom. And then once I got to that point, then yeah, I had to save, save battery just to make sure that was okay. Um, let me see. You've, you've gained a lot of points in the drivers and the constructors. It looks like um, you, you might be a bit P2 in the constructors. Um, same question I asked Tom. Are you focusing on the constructors this season? Or are you going to go uh, shoot aim high and go for the drivers as well? I mean, the constructors would be great, but I don't even know. I don't think I've had like maybe three different teammates, and I don't have a teammate this race. So, yeah, I uh, am could do with a permanent teammate just to help us out with the constructors but uh, yeah drivers definitely aiming aiming high anyway um i don't think i've won a title in contest of speed barely won a race to be honest with you so <laughs> 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 so you know because that's, that's the thing you've you, done it today yeah it's it's just when you go in the top tier for quite a few years then you don't really win a race much because they're too quick but uh yeah more than happy anyway um, if you win a race um, also, uh, Spa is the next race. Um, are you feeling confident for the next race, or are you thinking that you're just gonna, you're gonna crumble? Um, I don't know about crumble. I've actually been to Spa, so I kind of know the layout pretty well. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've definitely I've put a bit of practice in, see what happens. But it is not an easy track to drive this year on this game. And I think I've driven it maybe online lobbies only, so I've not actually done a league race around here. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, really. All right, perfect. Um, no further questions. Again, congratulations, and uh, I'll leave you back off to, to Rep Honda. Uh, I have to say that I have no more questions to you as well, but uh, would like to congratulate you uh, once again for uh, taking the top spot uh, on the race and uh, okay. I'm looking forward for um, Spa uh, next week to be honest uh, Hope will be home in time to uh, sit here with uh, you guys and com uh, commentate the action on the track uh, thank you once again for joining us uh, tonight uh, for all of you chatters, uh, thank you for joining us tonight as well, Destructo. Thank you for uh, making a company uh, for me and uh, for uh, thank you. all our audience uh, tonight. And myself personally uh, will see you tomorrow uh, during E1 race and uh, next week uh, for the Belgium Grand Prix here in Contest of Speed. Thank you once again and have a great, great night.